All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. We're on episode number 12 for today. In the last episode, we made Diamond 1, Division 2 in 3v3. We're going to do one more episode of doing threes and hopefully get closer and closer to champ. We're sitting at champ 1, Division 2, and 2v2 right now, and then hopefully that'll balance out. All right, today's meme of the day is Freddles, and I decided to make Freddles play the guitar instead. I mean, just look at this masterpiece. For game one, we have uh, Old Man playing <laughs> with Finn the Shark against a full team. And like I said, when we play against full teams, um, things are going to be a lot different. Um, because people are communicating potentially, um, playing differently, but that's a fast hit. We gotta make sure we really watch out for those big clears because we are last man there. Should be a clear to the corner. I'm kind of rotating a little bit uh, tight there. I should back out. See if old man playing can go. For oh, he's going for the bump, maybe. Once I see that the player is not going for the ball instead, uh, I'm going to try and cover him. But my teammate did go a little bit too aggressive on that play. He said, what a save. Um, I think that was him who made the play here. No, it was Finn. So old man plans roasting his teammate already. Solid start to the diamond lobbies. I believe this is our first diamond game, but I can't remember if we ranked up on the last game or not. I'm just going to cheat up here. Big misses. There should be an old man plan going across. Great clear. Also, I'm using the boost uh, from the last episode uh, about the banning boost. I'm not actually using it because you can't actually see it, but I'm going to cut this for my teammate. See what this guy does on the wall. Big miss. And I got space on this ball to stay with it here. I'm going to try and boost it forward because I see that guy chasing. And let's see what they do on the backboard. Good clear. Good pop. This is a good opportunity for one of us to go. It looks like he might go for it. Great finish. Nice. Good start so far. I like the rotations. I see that I saw Finn there ready to make the play. So I trusted that he was going to go for the shot. I don't need to overcrowd him by going for that as well because... If I, if I go for that and my teammate does end up going, I'm making the mistake by double committing because he's in a better position than me. And I see immediately, I'm going to go back corner here because my teammate went for the other mid. Good pop. I'm going to wait kind of far back here just in case they get a clear. And there we go. Now I can go on the ball. I have time to grab this boost and let my teammates come in for the, the extra touch. Okay. Something is beeping in my room. What the heck is that? What is it? What is happening? Okay, I'm back. Oh no! I thought my house was about to explode. It was my uh, my fridge. The door was slightly open. I got some water, but uh, we're back. Okay, I'm gonna sit behind my teammate. Get back into rotation here. So big jump from my t from the opponent, but they did where well, they were last man. I just cut in front of my teammate here. I'm gonna go for the touch. All right. It takes a little bit of time once I, whenever I find myself out of rotation, I find, I find it takes a second just to get comfortable and get back into the rotation. I see my teammate moving up here. I'm going to get behind him. I'm going to try and loop into mid to try and cover anything that's, that clears middle. So they do a double outplay, but I have time to hit this. And it's important to sort of draw an opponent in before I go for a touch. Um, sort of make something happen. Great shot. Close. So it is, okay, that's that's a play right there where Finn probably should have left it for me because I'm in a good position. Not the worst. That's a good pass. Try to pop this guy afterwards, and now there should be more space in the ball. Nice chip. Off the backboard. I'll pop this off the backboard again. Hopefully my teammate goes for this. So Finn was sitting a little bit far back. Rotations are a little off, but I'll wait behind. <laughs> wow. Finn kind of owned gold, and then uh, Old Man saved him. I kind of saw that coming, too. I was like, this guy's going to hit it, redirect it into the net, isn't he? All right, it's off the backboard, so hopefully Old Man goes for this. I actually really trust Old Man. I can definitely tell he's a pretty consistent player. Um, so when I see that, I kind of play around the fact that I know certain players are in a good position a lot of the time. Uh, whereas, like, Finn, maybe not necessarily I trust as much, so I'm going to be a little bit... You know, I'm going to take his positioning with a grain of salt. I'm last man here. The decent clear over two two people's heads. Try and challenge this early. And now sit behind old man. See if I can get a, a cross here. Looks like Ancient might have a touch. Totally fine. I'm going to wait for uh, Big Ken to hit it to me. Could have been a stronger clear, but still time on the ball to go for some touches. And I can sit here if I want to and force out the play. So hopefully Finn leaves this. Or, or yeah, I see, I see that he's like trying to leave it for uh, old man, but he's too far back. Okay, I can't really go on this yet because there's going to be a player on it. I'm going to go backboard to try and get a clear cross. You see, I can kind of read the play and know that like, that's not a great time to go up on the ball, especially as last man. 
And I'll loop behind my teammate. He should be going for this. Okay, I'll push up because my teammate rotated backwards. And try and stay on this ball. Try and pass this middle. Obviously, you want to get a touch this forward. See if old man can go on this. Decent touch. All players on their team on the left side, but they, they're all rotating right now. See Finn trying to go for it. I see he misses, and that's probably going to be hard for the opponents to get onto because they're expecting a touch from him. Big shot. And there we go. So in those positions, I'm just trying to wait for the opponent right here. I see that he's turning on this. Big Ken's trying to make a touch, so I just wait for him, and then I go for the touch. And I really thought that Agent Zero would have had that, but ended up... Uh, Waiting a little bit too long to go for the, the save. So we get a decent shot. I'm still on the bottom of the leaderboard. I feel like my teammates have been doing most of the work. Good. Wait for Finn here. See how far back I'm just kind of like sitting here just for any clears. And you kind of want to be trying to read this. Um, make sure there's... Anytime you see an opportunity for them to potentially make a big clear, you want to kind of wait. So anytime that I saw a, a play where like... A player could have hit it over me. I'm just trying to be very hesitant. Not not hesitant is the right word, but just very patient on certain plays. Um, you don't want to hesitate, uh, per se. Uh, but either way, um, pretty good positioning for my teammates. I think that Finn was a little bit more uh, on the back end a little bit. He wasn't really like sure if he should move up, and then sometimes he would kind of position a little bit weirdly. But old man was always in a good spot to follow up the touches. And that was a great shot from Finn, too. So overall, pretty good game. Okay, we got Zay and uh, King. Okay, so pretty sweet. Uh, names here, King Cusack and uh, Zay Buddha. I'm going to go back corner here. It's an all solo queue lobby this time. Going to wait behind my teammate. Good cut. I see uh, Diza uh, is being very, very patient to the point where he can't uh, cover that. If you're if you're Diza in that position, he is last man, but that ball is like he's let go of the possession. Really, Diza should be pushing up and trying to close off as many angles as possible. A little bit too patient in the net there. When Zay made that clear off the wall, that's a position where, like, um, you know that they can't catch up to the ball unless they boost a lot. I'm rotating behind my teammates, and one of them should challenge. A lot of them are being patient here, but... Decent. Should be Zay to clear it, maybe? And you see, I'm positioning in this middle of the spot to maybe pass it across. Now King is waiting on this. I'm going to wait for him to go for this touch. Get behind him. I like the reset to net there. It's not too bad. I'm on this touch. Now, the better thing is to probably get a win completely and just get a clear. But it's not the worst. Uh, it should be king here. Not the best clear because it gets them another shot. But it's off target. And now I'm trying to lead up with the ball. Both players are being pretty patient, but they're they're, they're covering each other. It should be Zay here. Oh, good dunk from, uh, from packing. Packing Riz. <laughs> I just realized this. Wait, or is it Pack and Grizz? I guess we'll never know. <laughs> okay. Oh no! <laughs> okay, I was asking a question. That's my bad. Could could have definitely uh, saved that, obviously, but that's a great shot from them off the kickoff. Do I get an answer? I don't think I get an answer. This is a mystery we'll never solve. I'm gonna cheat up here. I'm going to sit mid for Zay. That's going to be back to them. And now I'm going to go back corner. Get by my teammates. A good try. Big clears. You can see how much power you get by just hitting the uh, the flip underneath the ball. The timing there is very important. But you never really see that strong of hits, even in diamond. One of these guys needs a turn. Great turn. Maybe you can stay with this. Great. Great challenge as well. He's panicking. Oh, he actually made it, <laughs> he made it go in the net. <laughs> I think it was off the backboard. So yeah, making sure that you don't panic when there's like a ball flying near your net. Like this isn't on target. It actually ends up making it go in the net. But just try to get a good read. Getting good spatial awareness in this game is going to be important to to save uh, yourself from those panicky moments. And sometimes even SSLs like they'll they'll think that it's not in and it is, and they make a mistake. But the more you play the game, the more you read it, the more you're used to those positions. I see the clear coming out. I'm gonna wait in mid here. Hope my teammate can go for this. If you wait a little bit longer there, you can get the shot on target. I don't really want to score that because it's like a really fast play. And I think that something you might not react to in diamond. i move here. There we go. King should get on this clear. Uh, Zay ended up touching the ball though. He said, wow. 
But he's got controls, so it's not the end of the world. Good touch. Close. Oh no. Oh, my teammates are roasting each other. Wait behind here. So I see that there could be a big clear. That's why I'm waiting here. Um, I see that like off those corner balls, they could like bounce in the mid really quickly. So I'm just waiting off the uh, the middle there. And a great touch, great shot. That was a nice double actually for Diamond. I I, I actually think that like Diamond has improved a lot uh, over the last year or so since I last did the road to SSL. Like we never saw anybody do any double touch uh, double touches at all. That's pretty good to see. People mechanically are getting better at uh, position like that. Great touch. They clear from Diza. I'm going to go for this early. I see that he's trying to recover, so I got to be a little bit quick on that one. I'm going to force the play out and then try to go for a bump or something and then get behind. But unfortunately, my teammate missed, so I am kind of last man pretty quickly here. Oh. Good save. Good fall from King. I'm going to sit in mid here. It looks like he's passing the ball, so I'm now going to be last man. They should really be on this. There we go. Great finish. Yeah, it's been it's actually been pretty good. The teammates have been pretty solid. They're making good uh, good decisions for the most part. Uh, a couple weird ones where it's like he's ahead of the ball, but he's kind of just sitting there and waiting for something to happen. Like at that point, you should rotate back or something. Um, but yeah, Zay's looking pretty good. Oh, he was the one that cut off King though, which is interesting. Like there there are still like obviously some um, decision making issues. I can challenge this. There we go. It's a pretty tight angle, but it's a little bit scary to go on that. Looks like Zay might be able to go on this ball, so I'm going to sit behind him again. Okay, this is going to be an awkward bounce, but it should go right to me if I just wait in the, off the corner. Zay does like to cut people off. That's the that's the one thing. Like, right there, King was in a perfect position, and Zay made the touch. Like, it, definitely one of those players where you got to be a little careful because they could go for a ball that's a little bit scary. That missing touch, missing the touch a little bit. I'm bumped. Now, uh, if you're better at the game, you could go for the uh, the follow-up off that. Because that was a decent bump to actually follow the ball. Yeah, I was waiting. See, I'm patient. Like, that, I would have been outplayed if I just went immediately. Just being a little bit careful. Loop out wide. King's making a touch. Decent touch. King is waiting a little bit too much under the ball. He needs to be a little bit more uh, rotation heavy. Decent touch. Looks like Zay's cutting this off. Go for the follow-up. And I'm going to try and go for a bump here. Even though it's not in, Zay should be able to finish it. So I'm trying to, trying to get a read on where the traje trajectory of the, the player is that's going to go for this ball. So I know that where the ball is bouncing based on the circle on the floor. That's a really good play to make if you know that the ball is on target. Is to just try and follow um, where the opponent is going for the ball. And that, that it, it, it takes a lot of game knowledge to know the speed of players and how much they're going to boost when they're aerialing and stuff like that. But just getting yourself in between the ball and the player as much as possible. You'll see that more and more as you play high up, high up um, 1v1 as well. That air dribble bumps and bumps like that are going to be very, very valuable. Um, but yeah, Zay played really well. I, honestly, it's crazy to see players in Diamond playing as well as they are so far. But um, hopefully uh, that doesn't change. Now, before I inflate every single Diamond player's uh, ego that watches this video, I, I'm not saying that this is like amazing game, obviously, but it is better than what I expected. I think that um, the mechanics are, are getting better in the ranks. I mean, as people practice mechanics more, I think it's more going to be about decision making that, that separates you because everyone's going to be very mechanically sound at some point uh, in high SSL. Um, so you just got to be the one that's the outlier, um, you know, to make a... Oh, they'll get... Oh, I kind of waved dash to get back to that, but I didn't end up making it back anyway. So I, I miss, miss flipped on the touch. I was trying to make a soft touch uh, into the corner and then Blizzy just went flying by the, the ball as well. Um, I guess like... That's the big thing too, is if someone makes a mistake like I did, a lot of people will just panic afterwards. Um, but you have to realize that like people are expecting me to make a touch into the corner. And so in that position, like I I think that from Blizzy's perspective, he has a lot of time on that ball. It's gonna be an outplay for me. I can't really challenge this. Good save. Now this ball is leading into the corner. I can stay with this. Over the backboard. Oh, this is not necessary. Not necessary as well. Look how much space there was on the ball. Like both both players did not need to make need to make any touches. Decent try on the follow. Let's see if I can get behind him here. 
Oh. Try and pitch this around the side and see what they do with the ball. Decent. It's a high touch, and if they don't make a follow up here, then I can follow it, but they make a touch to the side. I'll try and stay on this immediately. Wait for Blizzy's touch. Okay. There's going to be both of them here. I can't really go on that. You can see I'm just going to get outplayed. Okay. I would say that this game is definitely a little bit more rough on around the edges. Good try. Pop this up nice and high with the touch. See if Blizzy can go for this. Good follow up. Nice. Wait for oh, he missed. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, I have space in this ball. Okay, never mind, I don't. Okay, this game is a little rougher to find my, my positioning around these teammates. I don't really know where I'm supposed to be. I'm gonna try and just like go a little bit wider, maybe. Okay, I have space in this ball here. Hit it up the ceiling. See if a teammate can go for this. Get off the backboard fast. Teammates are like pushed up really far there. He really shouldn't be positioning like up to the net like that because any ball off the backboard is gonna be really tough to deal with. Okay. Good challenge. Go stay on this here. Good challenge. Should be my teammate. Sleazy's just a little bit awkward with where he's positioning. He's not really sitting like in a spot where he can cover anything. He's kind of sitting under the ball. I'm going to get beat here if I go, so I'm just going to wait. Okay. Pick it up a little bit. Go for a clear. Try to pop this off the backboard. See if one of them can finish it. Nice finish. So I picked up the pace a little bit. I was moving a little bit too slow that entire game. I think I just need to like make sure I don't play super slow around opponents if my t or, or teammates if my teammates are also going to play really very slow. Because I need to fill that space like they're being a very hesitant so I need to play a little bit faster to fill those gaps because no one's really like pushing up and making anything happen I see I have 20 boosts here but I'm just gonna go for some boost pads because the, the corners were taken that's a great shot that's a great play off the backboard and in, in all honesty like I should be moving faster up to that um, not the greatest touch from Sleazy, but a great pass on the backboard. Like right here, I should be positioning more towards the ball immediately off that touch. But honestly, at a higher level, that would have been a shot on target. <laughs> I think like in that position where Jove hit the ball off the backboard, that's a shot. So I have to, I have to respect it because you can't play up that fast on those touches. Oh, close. And that's the goal. Okay, so yeah, th those big clears are still too powerful, I think, at this level. <laughs> I really didn't think that, like, just a simple shot like that uh, that early would be on target, but I think that shows that people are being very over-aggressive, not respecting positions where there could be a clear. I go for a, a, a decent 50 here. Pops it up. It's so hard to play, like, at a position. Like, I'm trying to play, basically, like, a champ in diamond. But I feel like I don't even know how a champ really plays in 3v3 yet. So it's kind of hard for me to position and play around that. But that's an open shot. Nice shot from Blizzy. Okay to that. I, I, don't, I don't know what that means. Cryptographers are still working on that one. I don't know what's happening. Because he's the one who said, like, wow, 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 over and over again. So Blizzy has the ball here. A good position mid. Maybe he can score. Nice finish. So even though I scored that one banger across the field, this guy's off the deep end. Also, I didn't know you could boost in the forfeit right there. That's interesting. I've played 16,000 hours. I never knew you could do that. Um, That was a little bit rougher of a game, I will say. Like, it's, it is. There's still a wide gap around players, but I will say that still... Overall, players are moving faster than last year. They've improved quite a lot. Oh my god, I didn't know Chronic was a diamond player. Actually, he says season 8 champ. So that's interesting because I think he's diamond now. But back then, he was champ. So yeah, people are saying that like a lot of people are lower ranked than they used to be. And this this season definitely has been tougher for uh, like rank disparity. Um, but, you know, the rank doesn't matter at the end of the day. If, if you are around other players who are just as good as you, it doesn't really matter what your rank is. If it says you're, you're bronze or silver or gold, 
That's just like a, a pride thing more than what you realistically are looking like. Because if everyone around you is diamond, but you are also playing like a diamond at that rank, it doesn't matter if like last year all these players were grand champ. That is the current diamond rank. So I know that like later on the, the ranks are getting a little bit uh, wishy-washy with who's good and who's not. Like I think it's a lot of lottery based stuff if you're not playing with teammates that you can recognize. Um, oh, big miss. Uh, and by recognize, I mean like recognize how they play. Good clear on the side there. It's an awkward ball here, but I want to try and get a read here. Looks like my teammate has it, which is perfect. Got me a few boost pads on my way back. Good save again. I'm going to try and follow up my teammate's touch here. Awkward touch. I'll go for this again. Looks like my teammate wanted to go for it too, but I'm just going to hit this towards target. Decent save. Teammate took that corner boost, so I'm going to grab this mid and then loop behind him. He should be already looping towards his ball. Like, I'm now in the same position as him. I'm still in the same position as him. Even though we're both in the net, he should be pushing up a lot faster than that. If he wants to go for this. Close to the wall. It's over his head. Waiting in mid here. Even though that my teammates are both in the corner, I, I don't see, like, there's any danger in this position. Now I see danger with that big clear. I see him trying to go for this. I'm just going to cut to the wall. To my teammate to go for this. Now I'm going to loop out faster because... It's not in a position where I can really follow it. See what Jim does with this ball. I'm going to take this in case he tries to go for the ball. Now I have the, ball, the wall read by boosting towards it. And that's going to be a good bounce in the mid, too. Hopefully my teammates can go for this. Good cut. Loop by my teammate here. He should be the one to go on this. I see that he's a little patient. That was a good play, though. Okay. Cut for my teammate here. Perfect. Can't really get on this because there's going to be a big clear. Get a corner, corner clear as well. Good rotation so far. This is a much better rotation this game. I see a big clear coming out. Should my teammate to rotate back here, maybe? I can turn on it as well. Get a big clear. You see how powerful these are just to hit it forward. If you can go into free play and just get used to like positions where you can... Oh, off target. Um, if you can get into free play and just do quick turns on the ball to get really, really sharp uh, shots like that up the field, you'll probably find that some of those will just loft in. I'm last man here, but it's a good position to go for the ball that's coming towards me. You always have to remember that when players are um, when players are pushing the ball away from themselves, they have to make up twice this twice the uh, the ground because the ball is coming towards you and away from them. So they have to go twice as fast just to get close to the ball. Yeah, I can't go on this ball, so I'm just gonna get behind my teammate. That's that's a better rotation from uh, Drix there. I'm trying to push up for my teammate. Looks like he's in a bad position. Good clear across again. It's a good wall read. To my teammate to rotate in here. This is a much better rotation. You can see every game is kind of like a lottery. Like you get teammates who are awkward and not really positioning fast enough. And you have sometimes teammates who are, who are um, very on top of the ball. It's just like inconsistencies. I'm going to try and just force him here. See my teammate can go for this clear big miss and so now someone should be pushing up on this looks like it's gonna be black i am last man I'm here for a second miss read it's gonna be a follow-up though so even though there was a mistake there um it does allow the opponents to go for a follow-up that's kind of the beauty of rocket league is sometimes like a mistake can just give your teammates more time on the ball good challenge waiting for jim's touch here he makes a touch but it's gonna be back to my teammate it's going to bounce towards net. Awkward ball. Could be a finish. Great finish. Haven't done too much this game. My teammates are just kind of positioning pretty decently. I see uh, Drix has uh, definitely improved uh, even from the beginning of the game. Just on where he's positioning with us. Just take some time to read what he wants to do and where he's positioning on the ball. We have 28 seconds left here. Immediately when I've got that momentum, I'm just going to take the back corner boost. Get behind Drix here. Good shot on target. And there we go. It's a great shot. That's the kind of patience. You can see Drix is waiting for them. Like, see that, that little stop he did? That's giving him the time to follow up the touch off the backboard. That's going to be the final game there. I think we're going to probably still be in Diamond 2, but pretty high up. Really well played by all my teammates. I think that that was definitely a good showcase of, like, some average Diamond level games. Uh, and, yeah, we divisioned up to Division 3. So we're still a little bit of a ways away from uh, Champ, but not that far. Just one more rank and a couple of divisions. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Definitely an interesting one. 
Um, I'm probably going to be jumping back into uh, 2v2 on the next episode. Let me know if you guys want me to do that. But until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Okay, listen. I know it says Rettles as a guitar, but I found this photo of Rettles when he was celebrating. Uh, that is just too perfect not to use. So I have a guitar here, and I think I can just sneak this in under his hands. <laughs> it's a really small guitar. Let's see if I can flip this around. Maybe like this. And then we kind of have him strumming the guitar. We're going to grab a, a new person. All right, look at this cool dude. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I think we're going to uh, grab the pants, which does have a hand in it, but I think that's okay. And we flip this. Yep. <laughs> okay, there's rattles. We take the pants. We go under. It's going to work if I just like kind of stick it like that. Okay, this is not the... He looks... You know what? I think it'll work because uh, once I have the guitar in front like this... I think it's going to be okay. Got a guitar pick, of course. Let's put that in place. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so big. I probably should change the color because it's kind of hard to see. Okay. I kind of need his hand to like wrap around a little bit. So I need to grab his, his hand. Grab that. Put it on top. We keep a lot of this, I think. And that doesn't... That doesn't look good. I think I need to take his other hand and and wrap it around so let's let's undo that delete that i want to grab this hand right I, i'm trying to think of how that would look <laughs> i think that's the wrong way <laughs> um i need to mirror it right flip horizontal this is not gonna work the way i want it to uh soft <laughs> it's good enough man i don't know what i'm doing i'm trying man i know that's not how hands work but best i can do it it's a little messy but once i have a background in here i think it'll be good if i can get like a blue stage background i don't think it'll matter too much what's going on here but that looks pretty good okay got a concert stage i kind of want him to be standing on the concert stage so i think i'm going to bring it up a little bit <laughs> yeah let's um let's combine him looking good looking good filter camera raw okay not bad and one finishing touch that is a man who's rocking out. I like it. There it is.